The iPad changed the way we think about computing. One of the ways it has done this is by reducing the number of ports a computer should have and replace that with wireless technology like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. While Wi-Fi is great for casual web browsing or watching Netflix, it can be troublesome in live productions or on stage. Features like controlling DMX lighting, video walls, and other iPads require a network connection with guaranteed performance and low latency. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to connect your iPad to a network with a standard Ethernet cable. We'll even provide a link to a shopping list so you can easily purchase the products we use. Here we have an iPad Pro with just a lightning port, and you can see we can't connect the Ethernet jack to the iPad directly. So the first adapter we need is a USB camera adapter. This is available from Apple in two models, Lightning to USB and Lightning to USB 3. To do this, you must use the USB 3 model since it has this port right here that provides power to the Ethernet adapter. If you don't have enough power, you'll get a warning and it just won't work. It also has the added benefit of charging the iPad simultaneously. You'll also need a USB to Ethernet adapter. This one is from Apple and is normally used for computers like a MacBook Air. So to demonstrate this, we plug in the camera adapter into the lightning port, then we're going to provide power with this lightning cable here, and next plug the ethernet adapter into the USB port like this, and then plug in the ethernet cable. Now we just did all this and you saw we didn't get any qualms on the iPad. In fact, you'll see this Wi-Fi icon disappear, telling us we're not on Wi-Fi anymore. Note that on some versions of iOS, this might not happen and you may need to go into settings and turn Wi-Fi off like this. We're going to turn it off just to show you that we're not using Wi-Fi. One thing to note. This will only work on networks that provide an IP address automatically using DHCP. This is how 99% of all networks work, so it shouldn't be a problem. You just can't assign a static IP address to your iPad. Now to test this out, we're going to look up a website like Google. You can see it loads. Of course we could search things and it also loads. So even though we're not connected to Wi-Fi, we're still able to use the web. I want to do one more test just to prove this is working using Ethernet. I've opened a program called Speed Test by Ookla, which tests my network performance. And I'll switch to a fast test server here in Baltimore. We tap test. At the office, we have 100 megabit download and upload, and we can see the connection is running at full speed. Now this time through the test, I'm going to disconnect the ethernet cable while the test is running. And you'll see the connection drops. We plug it back in, and after a few moments, the test resumes and our speed starts to go up again. Now, we normally recommend Apple branded products, but if you're looking to save money and you want to add three USB ports to your iPad, there's this adapter from Lurico. We connect it in the same way. wait a moment for it to connect, and we can see we can still use the network connection. But now in addition, we can plug in a USB device like this keyboard into the hub. I'll even open up the Notes app and start typing right away. Now what some people don't realize is that there are a number of USB devices you can use with an iPad, ranging from computer keyboards to MIDI equipment or adapters, audio recording interfaces, and more. You'll have to check with the manufacturer to make sure that a USB device is supported in iOS. 
To get a full list of the products we demonstrated in this video, go to onsongapp.com slash videos slash tutorials slash ethernet slash buy. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, be sure to contact us at onsongapp.com support.